सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एडिट ऐप एंड वेलकम टू दिक्कस क्लास ऑफ ए आर टी स्टैटिक सेक्शन हेयर वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द फेज टू ऑफ नाबार्ड एग्जामिनेशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट आर क्लास बट बिफोर दैट आई हैव अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग अनाउंसमेंट सो मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर ऑलवेज कन्फ्यूज कि नाबार्ड की तैयारी कैसे करनी चाहिए वट विल बी द कट ऑफ हाउ इज द लाइफ वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस इन नाबार्ड सो दीज आर ऑल द क्वेश्चन ऑफकोर्स इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एग्जाम यू शुड नो वट इज द जॉब प्रोफाइल हाउ इज द प्रमोशन गो ऑन वट इज द इन हैंड सैलरी वट आर द बेनिफिट्स ओके एंड देन यू डिसाइडेड टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द एग्जाम देन यू हैव क्वेश्चन लाइक फॉर्म कितने भरने हैं हाउ मेनी फेजेज आर देयर ओके वट इज द सिलेबस सो यू मस्ट हैव बीन कंफ्यूज कि क्या करें हाउ मेनी देर आर सो मेनी वीडियोज गाइडिंग यू and you'll have to check different sources but today we have a very interesting announcement so we have launched a book as you can see that is in my hand okay and in this book in comprehensive book in a very summarized manner and in in a very beautiful manner you will be able to see everything that is there to know about the nabard examination okay so before preparing i remember yesterday somebody somebody asked me about the strategy okay so i was waiting for the announcement that's why i didn't give this strategy but now if you want the strategy you don't have to ask me okay you'll just go download the link uh, this see this is very beautiful book so we have provided all the information okay age relaxation is there what kind of questions sectional cut off kitni hoti hai okay what how many sections are there then what will be the uh, syllabus of the nabard examination everything that is there to know salary what are the benefits okay how is promotion going on so everything is given in this particular book so if you are interesting to uh, you know have this book what you'll have to do no you don't need to buy it you can download it for free go in the description box okay you'll find the link for this particular book and do download it okay it will also encourage you to be the nabard officer so that was for the book okay i hope you'll download it and you'll find it very interesting and it will be very encouraging for you too so now let's move to today's topic so today we are talking about the soil conservation okay so let's start our topic now so the first question about the soil conservation is which of the following is not an agronomical major for uh, of conservation okay so here are your option summer plowing contour bund intercropping or crop rotation so do let me know okay uh, albert said none so here we are talking about the agronomic majors okay okay so the correct answer here so we are waiting for some students some have appeared so of course the correct answer will be uh, the none of the above so i thought someone some some of you will answer uh, contour bunding okay but very good you didn't answer uh, contour bunding that was <laughs> that's why i have added the option contour bund to but yes uh, the difference between agronomical major was that was on contour bund that the correct answer here was the contour farming okay so don't get confused in these two i'll explain the difference when we'll move okay uh, so that was the answer for uh, this agronomical major so we will today we are talking about the conservation we have talked about uh, a very good evening to all of you so we have talked about all the options okay so conservation we will study about so uh, moving to the conservation part now see how there are two kind of conservation so first of all we know soil and water are important for your crop okay so that's why we need to conserve them now what happened due to air and water movement what they do they carry the soil as well as water if your uh, soil is not able to hold the water the water erosion will be there and water will carry the soil particles so soil conservation need to be done also okay so that's why when we are talking about usually we talk about soil and water conservation together so moving to the uh, usually in the dry land condition where irrigation is limited you also need to conserve the water too otherwise you uh, you usually go for the soil conservation why because of the water erosion okay so talking about the conservation measures there are two type of measures that is agronomic measures and engineering measures okay we will study them all so these are the most important one okay now let's move to the next slide so first of all we'll understand the basic one that we can easily understand so talking about the conservation measures especially the agronomic conservation measures the simpler one are summer plowing okay when the temperature is high and summer is there okay temperature is high the heat is there so they are asking you okay do plowing now how it can be the major of conservation see what will happen the compaction of soil that has the rigid plot that soil will have they will break 
okay when these measures, so that is why summer flowing is the conservation me measure when we are talking about the agronomic measure so you can easily do that in your farm then we can move to the ridge and furrow see how ridge and furrow is important so what you have to do you have to prepare the ridge and the furrow the furrow is the depth that we are seeing now what will happen let's say your water is traveling from here so what will happen in that case the since the structure is something like this now your soil will have more time to absorb the water because water in the flat surface water will just move like that but now the surface due to ridge and furrow the water will have to move like this and the contact time will increase because of which the uh, soil will get more time to absorb the water and there will be soil and water conservation now moving to the uh, flowing across the slope so this is very easy see what is happening you if let's say there's a little slope 2% 3% or 1% slope is there your land is a little bit like that so what will happen if you irrigate it or if you farm it like that if you you know plant your uh, plants like that or you provide irrigation like that what will happen the water will easily slide off due to the gravity but what you'll have to do what you'll have to do uh, see if you do agriculture like this and you are providing water now in this form okay now uh, you are not providing the water like this you are doing the farming like this so irrigation will be held like this too so what is happening you are in uh, perpendicular to uh, let's say earth surface so perpendicular to earth surface or the slope you are doing the agriculture that is why what will happen you will get more time uh, your water will get more time to get absorbed okay and it will also provide a barrier like structure so it will hinder the uh, movement of water now talking about the vegetative barrier now here what you'll have to do do your agriculture that is quite okay but you can also grow some plants in between okay and what kind of plants they can be they can be forage plants they are the kind of plant which can absorb the water and in some crop what happens the seeds not all the plants are equally capable of holding the water okay not all the plants are equally capable of holding the water so in that case what happens some let's say you are growing crop a that is not very capable of holding the water so in that case what you can do let's say you have grown a strip of crop let's say crop one and that crop is not very capable so what you can do you can provide a barrier around this crop but and the barrier crop what it will have it will have a good amount of capability to hold the water okay so it will do the conservation and it will grow and provide you the cash so it's cash you can do it Aditi, i will provide the answer uh, if the question or the query is regarding any other topic then we are discussing so i'll take the queries at the end of the video i hope that is okay with you i'm so sorry okay uh, so now let's move now let's move to the next part okay these were very basic i think everyone will be everyone will be able to easily understand this and easily answer this so now we'll move to the factual part or the tricky part okay so our question said which of the following statement is correct contour farming involves flowing planting and weeding along the contour recommendation for the slope is given the effectiveness of contour <coughs> decrease and increase with the <coughs> <coughs> with the length rainfall intensity and erodibility of the soil so here are the so the first one is definition the second one is fact and the third one is asking you about the factors that affect the contour farming major okay so try to give it give the answer so albert says e okay very good uh very good so um so most of you are going with the option E. Okay, that is quite good. So the correct answer is of course all of the above. Now moving to the uh, contour farming part. See what happened in contour farming what you have to do. You have to prepare the contour line and along the contour line you will do the farming. Now what is the difference between. See we have talked about this particular ridge and furrow. We have talked about the flowing across the slope. So what is the difference between this one and the contour one. See the difference is quite basic one. What is the difference? This contour farming you are doing flowing as well as planting as well as weeding and the other agronomical factors along the contour line. So that becomes your contour farming. Very easy. Now what you have to remember here that the recommended land where the contour farming can be done is 2 to 7 percent. It means if the slope of the land is up between 2 to 7 percent then only it will work. Okay. Then uh, effectiveness of contour flowing decrease and in with the increase in slope gradient. So let I have said 2 to 7 percent slope farm uh, sorry contour farming can be done but what will happen if you try to do it after 7 percent the effectiveness will lower as much as the slope increase it it means in the hilly area you can't just uh, prevent the soil erosion by using the contour farming okay 
and the other factors are the fall uh, rainfall intensity and erodibility so if the rainfall intensity increases your contour plowing will be less effective then erodibility of the soil it means sandy kind of soil is there the nature of the soil is uh, like that ki erode ho jayegi so contour farming will not be effective then we have talked about the intercropping uh, intercropping in yesterday's class we also talked about the intercropping so i hope you all remember so intercropping is also agronomic measure of conservation now why agronomic conservation <coughs> measurement sorry agronomic measure of uh, conservation intercropping we are adding in see what we are doing here the erodibility or the soil erosion can also happen due to nutrient loss or less organic matter in the soil or low water holding capacity which can be due to the nutrition exhaustion so what happened when we are doing intercropping when we are adding adding more than one crop that have different need yaad hoga aapko intercropping mein we don't do intercropping of similar kind of it means cereal cereal ki cropping we don't do lagging leg legume legume ki cropping we don't do okay we are adding different kind of crop maybe one is exhaustive one is restorative crop okay one have uh, shallow root one have deep root so we are choosing the plant accordingly so intercropping what happened they help each other and as well as the soil okay that's why intercropping is also a conservation ma major okay and in the relay farming you can see what will happen this residue will add as a mulch okay it will also provide uh, the nutrient uh, nutrient as well as the organic matter that is important to hold water in the soil so that was about the intercropping we have discussed it yesterday too okay so these are four type of intercropping that was mixed rows that was row intercropping okay in mixed one we randomly spread the seed in row we prepare row of each crop that we are planning to grow then there is a strip okay in strip and row what we do in strip we prepare more than one row of the crop we are planning okay this is crop a let's say crop a we have three rows then crop b we will have four rows so this kind of system is there then relay cropping it was simple what used to happen see this plant a that you have decided let's say that this is your main crop okay so this is main crop your main crop will uh, attain the maturity but not uh, be ready to harvest okay so it is it hasn't been harvested but it is mature so you will what you will do as it has attained the maturity you will start growing the other plant too then after this one a crop a that is your main crop has been harvested your inter crop that you have added what we have first of all you have saved the time then the other one is the crop a that is the main crop residue will act as the fertilizer or the manure for the your inter crop so that was the advantage now moving to the next question so which of the following conservation is more intensive than the contour where the crop is grown in the strip so strip cropping simple summer growing chisel growing intensive cropping or rain fed cropping okay so try to answer it that answer it uh okay so so most of you are going with the option a and that is absolutely correct the correct answer is your strip cropping so discussing about the strip cropping what you have to remember two thing you'll have to remember okay first of all it is a little intensive okay uh, then the contour farming but but then again it doesn't mean ki uh, like 2 to 7% was the range for the contour farming it doesn't mean samul say you can do uh, or is it can be applied on the land better Uh, then the uh, contour farming that is not the meaning it means on the same slope of land two to seven percent that we have discussed if you want to uh, let's say uh, do a cropping or attain a major that is more effective so then you can go for the strip cropping because it is more effective as well as as well as it is more intensive intensive means it does more so wherever you see in agriculture you will say intensive term many times getting repeated okay so intensive wherever you see it means happening more let's say we are talking about intensive agriculture it means you are adding more and more input uh, whether it is labor whether it is seed whether it is fertilizer pesticide so you are adding more so intensive means that okay uh, so that was the simple definition you can see from the name itself you can see we will grow the crops in strip and the one thing you should remember here is the crop that will be grown will be perpendicular to the wind that is preferring or will be along the natural contour so that was that okay so moving to the next question now which of the following is a soil conservation measures so these options are given i think everybody will be able to give the answer this is quite easy now okay
ok so everybody is going with the option a and that is absolutely correct very good okay so i was planning ki zyada first slide nahi dikhani you won't be able to give the answer but that is quite surprising and very encouraging that you know the answer so soil conservation major these all are soil conservation major that we will discuss now so moving to these conservation major see so remaining conservation major what are these intercropping we have discussed uh, it is not intercropping sorry that was supposed to be mulching okay the heading is not right so that is mulching so mulching see mul question about mulching has been repeated so many times uh albert just wait for a second uh, contour bonding we will discuss okay contour farming do remember and i'll discuss it again contour farming kya hoti hai you should remember that okay when i'll discuss the contour bonding i'll discuss it so do remember that so uh, when we talk about mulching see mulching is very important topic and very favorite topic because if you take a look at the pyq question do get repeat about the mulching even the question what is mulching has been asked this is quite easy and quite direct question so what is mulch see in mulch what you do whatever crop residue you have okay you have harvested the crop and you have uh, let's say you need the seed or the flower part or the fruit part you have harvested it now the remaining part the stalk part the leaf part that is left in the field what you do you cover your field with that kind of material okay now what this material do this prevent the erosion okay and water loss how uh, let's see this will prepare, prepare a mat like structure and in that water will be trapped then again uh i'll just explain it do give me the minute we are discussing the intercropping we will move to the chisel throwing so this is the next one uh, do give me a second okay mulching is important so that's why i am discussing it so uh, what happen in mulching see this mulch material so mulch material is the residue that you have okay so uh, what will happen the mulch material that you have you will uh, keep the mulch material here and because of that evaporation loss uh, evaporation will decrease also the second effect that will have is uh, it will also help uh, the plant or the soil to uh, conserve the water then also what will happen one more thing that can happen uh, because of the mulch it will itself will act like a manure and once is once it get decomposed the nutrient will be released to be uh, fed by your plant now let's move to the chisel throwing and somebody asked me how chisel throwing is the soil conservation major see what we have talked about the tillage okay uh, or those of you who don't know tillage is what happen whatever uh, you know we are doing plowing okay we are breaking the clod of the uh, let's say of the land so that is your tillage so what happen in tillage whenever you do tillage sometime what happen the clod get too loose and because of that whenever there is a rain or irrigation condition or the water uh, in an excess amount get uh, enter the field the erosion happen why because you have break the clod and there is now no compaction and since we are doing the plowing there is no plant it's not like a plant okay and we do plow that happen really in the conservation case so chisel plowing what happen you are kind of doing subsoiling okay you are least disturbing the top soil so your top soil is hard maintain but what you are doing the deep soil that you have you are uh, breaking it okay you are breaking hard pen but where from the not from the top soil and this is very narrow it's not like the uh, kind of structure that we use for the agronomical major this is very narrow and due to which your top soil get less and less disturbed and your deep soil and the uh, deep pan clod you have they get broken since the deep pan got uh, pan got broken what will happen the water will be absorbed say okay in the deep layers too water will be easy to absorb usually what used to happen top soil, soil ko you have break deep soil waisi hai so some layer uh, of the water some water get enter to the uh, let's say shallow layers and deep layers are unaffected but when you do such, uh, chisel growing what will happen the chisel will enter the deep soil break the pans the water will enter there it will be easy for plant to enter it and then your plant can also help in the major uh, conservation major okay so uh, am das that was the uh, explanation i hope that is clear to you now let's move to the crop rotation again agronomical major which is very easy now what happen in the conserve uh, crop rotation you are doing what you are not uh let's say growing legume again and again or the greens or what we usually people grow they grow grains 
or the cereals again and again. So what do you do? Let's say first of all you have added legumes and legume have added good amount of nitrogen. Then you are going for the greens that need good amount of nitrogen. Okay. Then you are going for uh, some other variety that doesn't need much of a nitrogen because you have just exhausted it. Okay, then you are going different kind of vegetables. Now there comes the time when nitrogen has been totally exhausted, then you will go for legume again. So in crop rotation, what you are doing, you are rotating the crop according to the health of the soil. So that is why the crop rotation also becomes your agronomical major. Now alternative land use. So one thing you will have to understand and accept that no matter how much major you apply, there is no way that 100% of land, available land can be used in the agriculture. Okay, there are some land that are basically or uh, let's say the parent material of, of that kind, the total climatic condition are, are such kind that you can't do agriculture. So what you have to do, you will go for the alternative use. How you can go for the alternative use? You can uh, you plant the forest. Horticulture you can do. Fodder cultivation you can do. Okay, pasture development you can do. You can prepare the uh, land for the consumption of, let's say, consum <laughs> land for the food material for the consumption of animal too okay so that was your alternative land use so i hope that is clear now let's move to the next question so the question four said which of the following can be used in the clay soil for conservation so these are your option contour bund graded bund compartmental basin contour stone wall and all of the above so here we will uh, in a second we will talk about the contour bund and the other kind of bund that we have So, Albert is saying all. So, most of you are going with the all of the above and that is absolutely wrong. The correct answer will be your graded one. Okay, now we will discuss about the uh, clay uh, soil. Okay, so what is that? So, first of all, let's see what is bundling. So, simply talking about bundling, what you do? Let's say you have excavated the soil from one part and you have prepared a heap-like structure. Okay, so that heap-like structure that will act as a, uh, let's say, hindrance, okay, to the soil that we call bund or the contours, okay. The, according to size, it can be big, it can be small, but that is basically bunding. Okay, uh, now let's move the so embankment structure that you have in the land slope that will be bund. Talking about the contour bund and the graded bund. So we have talked about in the agronomical major when we talk about, we talk about the contour farming. Okay, we have talked about the farming. Now I will tell you the difference. So in contour bund, what you are doing, you are actually along the contour line, you are heaping up the soil. Okay, and you are preparing a bund line, bund like embankment structure. Okay, sorry, mitti abhi khatta kare. You are heaping it up. Okay, preparing some height that is more than the uh, land that you have. So what will happen once the rain will cover? Let's say uh, your land is at that level. You have prepared a heap that is around five centimeter. Uh, rain are here and the field is filled with two centimeters. So what it will what will do? It will also give some time. To, uh, it will hold the water and give the time to the land to absorb the water. So these are your contour bunds. So is the contour bund clear? Do let me know in the comment. Okay, so you all have problem in understanding contour bund and contour farming. I did my best. So uh, that is cut and fill method. You can say, but we are uh, since we are doing the bund, we are filling it up and we are preparing the bund at the embank. Oh, sorry, embankment structure at the contour lines. That's why we are calling it contour bund. Okay. Now what will happen, there is another case, when we talk, see, I have told you, the bund or the embankment structure will help you to hold the water. But there is a kind of soil that is our clay soil. Now what is the case with the clay soil? See, this clay soil already has a good water holding structure or water holding capacity and bad drainage. It means, uska apna structure, under se the structure is like that it can hold good water so now what you do you prepare the bun using the clay soil now the water is staying there for too long and already soil is not absorbing in that case the contour bun rather than preventing the erosion will cause the erosion okay the salt that the soil will have 
with mixed with the water if the water move then the soil will become infertile so these kind of structure can happen in the clay soil when we talked about or let's say it's a kind of soil where clay is more than the sand and silt part so in that case also it can happen so there we go for the graded one now what is graded one you will prepare the bund that we have talked about but you will also provide a drainage structure along with it so you can see the bund is here and you have also provided the drainage channel okay side me so what will happen if the water get in excess it will be drained from this particular channel that you have provided so that was the case of the graded bund so you have to know the difference usually low rainfall may we go for the contour bund because here we are uh, trying to conserve the moisture okay we are giving the water more time to get absorbed here in high rainfall we want ki good drainage ho and the soil is also factor if permeable soil is there let's say uh, clay loam kind of soil is there sandy soil is there we we'll go for contour bunding then in permeable soil we'll have to see the slope difference is there uh two okay so land slope less than six percent uh you all know one to seven percent we have discussed so it's in the same line so contour farming contour bunding uh, go along so slope you'll have to remember here when we talk about the grade one it's two to ten percent so that was about the bunding and we have discussed the contour bund and grade one now let's move to the next question which of the following can be used in the land where the slope is 33.3 percent so these are your options so we have just discussed contour bund can't be the answer okay we have discussed this low percent here but now you have to tell the answer then what can be used if the slope is way too high we are talking about the hilly states and all so contour trench okay that is option a okay c that is check them okay uh, so let's take a look at the what can be the answer uh, so moving to the 33% slope see we will have to understand since the bund bund can't be the answer these four option can be the answer so we will one by one understand all the all this topics okay so first of all moving to the contour trench that is the correct answer so we have to understand what is contour trench so for there are two structure that is contour stone wall and contour trench since we have talked about if your land is let's say 6% or more than 6% let's say 10% or 20% or 25% slope if we are talking about the hilly state north eastern state the ghats we have okay so we are talking about the all the mountainous ranges so here what we can do we need a, since there is slope we can't only go for the contour uh, farmings or contour one what we do we go for contour trench in contour trench what we do again we are prepare along the contour line we are preparing the uh, embankment but what we will do we will excavate the land let's see there's a contour line so if you are residing in the area where you have experience let's say if you have a land and uh, that is the land that has been passed passed by uh, passed to you by your father or by generations so what will happen now you have a rough idea ki if the drainage is there where the water will collect or where will the water go so if i know that if my land is let's say my land is structure like uh, this okay give me a second please okay so let's say uh, i have this kind of land or this land i know that once the rain is gone since the slope is residing over there the water will go there so what i will do i will already excavate the pond i'll say what to okay you need to get absorbed what you will do rather than moving forward move downward okay and then the this water since it is having the time of contact higher than the rest of the area what will happen the water will slowly after the rainfall or the irrigation the water will move to this uh, let's say trenches that we have prepared okay and water will uh, get there now what another case that you should study that's a little trivial what you will do since you have excavated then you won't be wasting the soil that you have in your hand what you will do you will provide the embankment structure just for uh, your safety let's say there is too much rain and these get overfills then this structure will act as a embankment and will stop your water from draining out so this was the your contour trench one thing you should study that 33% slope may contour trench can be there and i think from the diagram you can easily understand how the trench will work again these trench can be continuous too, okay let's see there is a uh, barricade or there's a division so what you can do there's another method where you can completely remove it and this can act as a single drainage this whole system can act as a single drainage so that is also popular okay now moving to the contour stone walls now what is this contour stone wall if you go to hilly states you will find the structure just like this 
Now what happened in hilly states? See in these land when we are talking about the contour trench uh, being very useful in the land where slope is 33%. The problem is the soil here is good. But the mountainous soil or in the mountain what we have, we have a uh, stone like structure. Okay, The gravelly kind of soil is there. The soil is since new high amount of uh, gravels are there or stone amount is there. So what, you, what happened in that case, the contour trench is very difficult. The land itself is very difficult to excavate. Okay, too much uh, erosion happens. So in that case, what we do, we go for contour stone wall. Contour stone wall is we, uh, along the contour line, we prepared such kind of structure. Okay, so that is your contour stone wall also, the engineers need for that. And the, uh, where the bench, uh, con sorry, bench terrace can, can't be, can't, apply we go for contour stone wall we will discuss what is bench uh, terrace don't worry so these are your contour stone wall. now what will happen let's say your water is there since you if let's say this is your stone what used to happen before rain is there your water will just trickle down but now what you have happened you have prepared a structure where there are four but there is uh, too many pathways so what what will happen once water uh, enter this particular pathway it will start moving along the stones and it will take it a very long time to, uh, you know, actually uh, pass it. So that, that was our aim with the stone wall. I hope that is clear to you. Now let's move to the next question. So compartmental bunting is an effective moisture conservation measure in the dry land. You'll have to tell, we can do this compartmental bunting and to land with what slope? So slope is your question here. 6 to 30, 12 to 30, 25, 7 to 12, 1 to 7 or less than 1. So do let me know the answer. So, uh, so every kind of answers are coming. Uh, okay, I will just answer it. The correct answer is less than one. Okay. So, talking about this particular compartmental bunding. See, this is quite easy. Very easy it is to understand. Uh, once you have understood the term itself. So, what is compartmental? Uh, what is compartmental bunding? See, what do you do in this? You prepare the bunding compartments. Okay plot like structure you make and you do the bunding along the lines now what will happen this is very effective okay since what you are doing the small area even the smallest of the area is getting covered by the bun so in that case what happened the water is getting pretty much time to get absorbed and even every plot the water is getting pretty much time to get absorbed but what is the disadvantage here you can't apply it where the slope is more than one okay you need to have a slope less than one then only you can do it uh, do the compartmental bonding so that was that now understand you'll able to easily you will make compartment by doing bonding so you are making compartment how by preparing burn along the lines so that was your compartmental bonding now let's move to a very interesting and very important topic that is your bench terraces so what are burn bench terraces see these are your bench terraces you are making a bench like structure now what is this bench like structure we are talking about you are cutting and filling and producing a series a step like series okay when we talk about terraces this like a structure like is there you are doing farming in this then in next slope then in next slope so this structure is actually there is some land here then there is land there is land there is land so we are doing structure like this so you are preparing a terrace like structure okay so that is called steps or benches now so this was our bench terraces this is very important uh, again i think this time the question uh, there was some question in the uh, shift one in the from, from the bench terrace itself now moving to the next question, the length of the bed in the broad bed and furrow method is maintained at what centimeter? 15, 30, 90, 45 or none of the above. So here we are talking about another very interesting mechanical conservation measure that is our broad bed and furrow. So if you are talking about the broad bed, you will have to tell the length ki kitni hoti broad bed, okay? You will have to tell it like that. So Albert and Rajeshwari has provided the answer. Okay, uh, very good. So very good. So everybody is giving the correct answer. That is option C, 90 centimeters. Very good. So talking about the broad bed and furrow, those of you who don't know, don't worry. See, broad bed, very easy conservation measure. What you are doing, you are providing a good amount of land for uh, plant to grow. Here your plant will grow. But let's say we have talked about the clay soil. So clay kind of soil is there and you are preparing the bed for here. So in the clay soil, you always have to worry about the drainage channel rather than worrying about the erosion. 
इसमें पानी ज्यादातर रुका रहता है दैट इज योर प्रॉब्लम नॉट कि पानी बच नहीं रहा है ओके सो इन इन दिस केस वट यू आर डूइंग वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग द बेड स्ट्रक्चर देन वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग द चैनल ऑन बोथ साइड दिस चैनल आर कॉल्ड फरोज एंड दिस वन इज ब्रॉडबैंड ओके नाउ दिस ब्रॉडबैंड नीड टू बी ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर और नाइनटी सेंटीमीटर ओके अमंग ईच प्लांट रो यू विल मेंटेन द गैप ऑफ थर्टी सेंटीमीटर ओके थर्टी सेंटीमीटर इन दो के बीच में देन थर्टी देन थर्टी टोटल नाइनटी हो गया हमारा देन दीज विल बी या फोर्टी फाइव सेंटीमीटर सॉरी वन पॉइंट फाइव ये फोर्टी फाइव सेंटीमीटर दे विल बी ओके नाउ मूविंग अबाउट टॉकिंग अबाउट द परकोलेशन पॉइंट See, percolation pond is another very interesting method. What you'll have to do in the percolation pond, you have a pond. You will uh, let the water stay here. Okay, uh, normal pond that you have, what you'll do, you will fill it with water. Let's say rain is there and all the water get collected here. You will let it uh, be like that. What will happen as effect of that? The nearby soil will start absorbing the water, and from there the water will transfer. The water or uh, table that you have will also get the water again. It will also get redressed. Okay, so that is our aim with the percolation uh, pond. So we still we haven't talked about the check dam that we have. Okay. That is another very interesting and very easy method to understand. That's why I I have not added. It. See, uh, <clears throat> region borough what we have in region borough what we are doing we are maintaining the similar kind of up and down structure. So if this is the structure, this is your ridge and borough. Okay, so ridge and furrow, not burrow. So this is your ridge, this is your furrow, this is your ridge, this is your furrow. But in the broad bed, what you are doing, this is your furrow. Then you are preparing proper bed. There is not ridge-like structure, rather there is a bed of ninety centimeter. Then you are preparing another furrow. So uh, this is the difference between ridge and furrow and your broad bed and furrow. Okay, and from name now from from now on you will be able to easily get it by the name. Okay, in ridge and furrow, furrow what you are doing? <laughs> one ridge is there, one furrow is there. One ridge is there, then one furrow is there. In broad bed, one broad bed is there, then one furrow is there. Then another broad bed will be there, then furrow will be there. Okay, this kind of structure is there in the uh, furrow and broad bed ones. Now talking about percolation pond, we have talked about you let this water stay, water get absorbed. Then we are talking about the check dam. So what is this check dam? See what you do, you will prepare the embankment, and here the water will collect. You will let it get absorbed. Okay, uh, you are preparing a little weir-like structure. Okay, जो हमारे proper dam देखे होंगे आपने irrigation channels के जो मंदे हैं. So these are very big in structure, but when we talk about the check dam, they are comparatively lower in size. But again, what you'll do? Uh, okay, दास uh, I'll answer it. Just give me a second. So in check dam, what you'll have to do? There will be a structure. Okay, and you will let the water stay there. So that is your check dam method. Okay, uh, you are preparing a dam-like structure. You let the water. You will stop the water from flowing. The water after some time get absorbed. If the water get absorbed very good, some of the water will always be in excess. So you will let it pass. If you see like the water is getting more, okay, it can cause flooding. You will let it go. So you will prepare channels. Okay, you will provide a uh, good structure for that. So that is your check dam method. But these are the important and factual information that you need to, to remember about the. conservation measures so uh, somebody have asked me the bench terrace is slow for the bench terrace so let, let me tell you this is your homework question i'll answer it tomorrow but first of all do a little research on yourself so that i know that you are studying do let me know in the comment after the research so i have uh, with me the people who have answered it okay uh, yesterday i also provided the question and only few people attempted it i hope this time it will not happen sorry <laughs> less number of people not like even the less are not answering but i hope you all are doing your part to see i am all, uh, always coming with the new lectures i am always adding information i do need ki aap bhi apni taraf se uh, do a little effort and do some input okay so that is why i have added the question so this is your question do google it i'll answer it tomorrow itself or i'll just provide the answer in the comment section okay after 24 hours uh, so yesterday we'll see who have answered the question yesterday so those who have attended the lecture are attending the lecture haven't answered it okay only few people have answered it okay uh so danny has answered it shubham has answered it and uh, maharshira has answered it okay maharshira has answered it nobody else has answered it but the correct answer was nitrobacter for tomorrow's answer and 25 by 25 is the answer for the sri okay two questions were there 
I do hope I haven't since you didn't give the answer I didn't give the revision question when you'll answer this and I see good amount of people have answered it I'll add the answer as well as the revision question today you won't find any revision question this is your homework question do some research I'll answer in uh, in the video tomorrow too I'll add the uh, answer in the comment section too okay after 24 hours you have 24 hours do uh, your part then I'll do my part too now that was it for the lecture I hope you like the lecture again you have attended my lecture if you like it do remember to subscribe to our youtube channel and if you want the pdf you can find the pdf in the telegram channel too so today we have also talked about the guidebook okay complete navad guidebook this is so if you have any query uh, you can go from there okay you can study about that uh, we have talked strategy part everything is discussed there so do find it so anuradha is saying how we should prepare for the descriptive part uh, see, first of all, if you want the strategy, I will recommend you do find the PDF. It is very interesting. See how beautiful it is. It is drawn very beautifully, very concisely. Okay, uh, so do remember it. But uh, I remember there were two queries. The first uh, one asked about me. So an, a student asked if the current affair of last three months is okay. <laughs> see, uh, Nabad has again changed the trend a very little. So since we have seen the question come from, uh, even we have talked about the and what was that the production uh, estimates that were given for the major series so we have seen rather than the recent estimate uh, the estimate that came before that was asked so i recommend you for the mains mainly just prepare for six months rather than three months i think three months you have uh, since you have prepared for the pre you will uh, get the uh, see okay i'll answer it one by one so if you can just go for six months i have you have prepared for pre i think you have uh, some kind of hold in it but uh, it will be f a little fatal if you go for only three months just don't do uh, don't do that kind of mistake you have time for now okay the result hasn't been announced so you have time uh, just do a little more effort <laughs> thank you so much rashri so uh, another student has asked me uh, descriptive ke liye so i think there will be a strategy session don't worry there will be a strategy session where you will find uh the in the strategy session you will find the youtube video will be, will be there so our experts will tell you the ma'am will come the sir will come they will tell you how to attempt the descriptive writing okay so they will explain you very well so if you want the pdf of this uh, if, if you want the pdf of this book uh, you can find that in the description and if you want the pdf you can find that in the telegram channel too uh, you the link will be provided to you after 24 hours the link will be added to the video okay the video itself you will find the link of the telegram channel too and what you can do uh, go for the lecture 3 or lecture 4 video okay this was lecture 6 i think so again lecture 5 you can go to in the link you will find the in the description you will find the video link then you, it will take you to our telegram channel do remember to join it okay so that you won't have to this kind of hazel up won't be there so that was that so thank you so much for attending the lecture uh, if anybody has any other query i'll have two three minutes i'll wait do let me know okay and prepare well for your nabad examination so that was it for our class if you have any query do uh, do write it okay so that i can read it and answer it and your homework, do attempt the homework in the comment section. You will have to tell slope kitna hota hai for the uh, bench test. Again, the question was there. So, don't take it lightly. Okay, slope I have discussed for the most important uh, strategies or most important the part we have discussed. So, do, do your part. I have only given you to find the slope of one kind of major. So, don't try to uh, skip it. It was in, there in the question. So, question can be asked in the same line too. So, I uh, am not seeing any kind of query. So, thank you so much for attending today's lecture. If you like the lecture, do let me know in the comment. And if you don't want to do that, do the homework. You don't need to <laughs> tell that. Okay. Uh, Ganwali, don't worry. The result will be there. Just wait for the month of October. Uh, the first week of October. I think result will be there. We were expecting it. But I think there are kind of, some kind of problem was there. So, result uh, has been postponed. So, next month you can find the uh, result on the first week or rather uh, the last week. Oh. I mean this month's last week you can find the result but don't wait for result because result means now you have very less time to prepare for the mains. So since now you have time don't wait for result rather start preparing for the mains examination. So thank you so much for attending lecture that was it for the lecture. Okay uh, I'll see you tomorrow.